Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Harley Quinn Season 1, Episode number 3. This is a surprise hit for me and very, very adult humor, which I am here for. Let's go. Be sure to also drop a like. Yeah, drop a like down below if you guys uh, get a chuckle or if you just like it. Just hit the like button. Oh, God. We really appreciate it. It's so bad. You could have just left it. <laughs> Alright, so before we jump into episode a three, a couple a couple comments to feature from our patrons. First being Sir Deb, who comes through to say, The Gogurt joke is the perfect example of why I love this show. It's so stupidly normal, but in the middle yeah. of a conversation between two supervillains arguing about joining the most evil organization in the world, right before one of them has to kiss a bunch of 13-year-old boys. Let's make sure we get that Gogurt joke in. Yeah. Wonderful. Legion of Doom. <laughs> uh, Beard Peterson comes through to say, Hey guys, so Bane was my absolute favorite this episode poor guy and his voice cracked me up i That's wonder if, i wonder if ivy and kite man will hook, excuse me will hook up later on they sure have been planting the seed sorry uh, i had to do look it at you. <laughs> look at you being a clever fox over there oh uh, i love your reaction as always and i see you in the next one uh, the executive producer Lissette says, I loved your reaction, guys. Also, I watched season one, and I was pleasantly surprised by how, how amazing this show was. Okay. Also, you guys haven't met the full cast yet, and some of my favorite characters are yet to be revealed. Also, I loved Bane in this episode. He was hilarious, and as always, Harley and Ivy are friendship goals. Yeah. Can't wait for the next episode. Oh, very good. Yeah, thanks, guys. Let's jump into episode three right now. I need to go. I need a fucking crew. Yeah. You need a shower. You need a fucking crew. <laughs> Look at Dr. Psycho. Perfect example. Doesn't have a crew, yet still taking on Wonder Woman. Ready you, c <gasps> <laughs> Holy shit. Well, see, if he had a crew, they would have told him to use the B word instead. And if I had one, I'd use that warhead to blackmail Gotham into naming a highway after me. Huh, a highway. All right, well, you know, that took a weird turn. That's Kronk, he's muscle. This is if fantastic, you don't like crazy yeah. boy bridge, he's your man. The professor, he's brainless. So smart, yeah. Babe, it says he's so 39. Smart. It said that old oh professor was 39. <laughs> Meet Blaze. <laughs> Explosive. <laughs> Lot of buzz on him. Uh, uh, lot of chatter. Ch ch lot of heat. <laughs> yes, and if you don't take him today, he'll have seven offers tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> take him all. Can I sell it, man? with this team behind me. I, I'm sorry. I thought you were his girlfriend. No. Oh, I'm sorry. These men are unavailable. For how long? For ever. Yeah. Oh, forever. Well, I don't need ya. I don't need any of ya. I'll put together my own crew who's excited to work with a real up-and-comer. If you get back together with Joker, our doors are always open. Ugh, yeah. that sucks. And I won't ever, knowingly, send you to your death. Wait, was she talking about a job where we don't have to jump into hell portals and definitely die? No, just shut up and jump. Jump. Definitely die. Join me, and we'll be doing million dollar heist in no time. Who's with me? Can't lose you. I got a family emergency. Oh, wow. I, I, I have a thing. I'd rather die. <laughs> and then they all ran off with that loser kite man. Yeah. The loser that guy is. Did he mention my name? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. But did he? There must be Badidi. something I'm missing. How do I get people to work for me? She has no fucking idea. Because plants do all this shit for her lazy ass. You were so inspiring. If you don't mind, I just, I got a couple questions. And I've got one big answer. So, hey, I was wondering if you just give me some pointers. Well, I can certainly give you one. Two! <laughs> so you're just a creepy dick. I'm not fucking you. Oh, really? You were laughed out of UTI! Right Come on, Ive. With your um, ability to control all plant life on Earth and my gymnastics, I mean, and my I gymnastics. <laughs> I said no. I mean, I, I got a brand. I say it. Isn't that right, huh? She said right. She did not say right. Did you hear her say right? <laughs> she was talking to me. Get back here, you bastard! Ugh. He did it again. Manta's terrible thing again. Holy yeah. shit. I'll be a <laughs> No, no, no. I used the mailman. Deliver the mail. Oh, 
She demands perfection, doesn't she? Mm. And she'll get it! Mm -hmm. My mind is a world with the delicious new character you'll soon meet! I can't believe it. She might have been from the wrong side of the tracks, but she was on the right side of your heart! What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> it's right. really you. And may I be happy to live man? I thought I'd lost you forever after Piano Bar Janet said she took care of it. Oh, she tried. But it didn't take. Of course it didn't. <laughs> you said no woman could ever get a crew of bad guys. Well, I didn't just get bad guys. I got two of the fucking worst. You call that a crew? A midget and a mudslide? <laughs> I'll give you one chance to tell the world Harley Quinn's crew ain't nothing to fuck with. Or nothing to fuck, to fuck with. former girlfriend of the Joker, is striking out on her own. Holy fucking shit, Harls, you did it. I would not have seen that coming. It's been 30 Holy long shit. years since a female villain had a crew. I got a crazy picture of her. Though. Smashed through that glass ceiling, but was imprisoned in the U.S. tax code by the Justice League. Because they're bitches! This just in. Hey, y'all, it's me again. <laughs> to a high speed chase when abruptly renamed Harley Quinn Parker. Abruptly Harley. renamed? They're fucking damned. Totally worth it. Right? <laughs> totally worth it. All right, that was episode three of Harley Quinn, and um, congratulations to her because she has a uh, highway name after her, which is great. Uh, she got a crew together. I don't really remember uh, Psycho. Man, I mean, I guess I could. He's one of the, probably one of those C-list, D-list uh, bad guys back in the day from the cartoon, but he oddly seems familiar. Clayface definitely seems familiar. Don't really know, but I'm I'm glad. I, I love how we get we we're, we're gonna be getting all these throwback characters and stuff like that for people who was probably into the comics and and was watching this stuff back in the day like me. I mean, I was a um, uh, um, uh, avid fan of all things superhero cartoons from DC and Marvel back in the day before it was like super duper popular like it is now. But man, I'm, it's just so clever how this show can take. The stuff that we've known for so long, spin it around and make it what if it was like realistic, like real world people in it. And I love it. It, it works so good and they can do so much with it and they always do. And I really love the, the part with the talent agency. That is just genius to do it like that. So if they keep coming up with stuff like that, this this show is just, man, it's just going to be killing it all, all day. So I love this episode right here. It's another one. So, um... Looking forward to more for this season because it is just very smart. Uh, yeah, so I love this episode too. Um, I will say I got a little bit of the boys vibe with the agency and PR and all yeah. that. I was like, oh yeah, this is this is fire. Yeah. Um, I just think it's so like super convenient. Yeah, let's go here to the agency so I can get my crew. Yeah. I need my bad guys. Um, nice. And I, I like the way like she ultimately created her or got her team. Um, it'll be interesting to see if this is a theme that plays throughout the season mm -hmm. or if this was like a one off. Um, but again, to me, my highlight of every episode is still Ivy. Like the way she like yeah. com communicates and like her perspective and like her comments are just fire. I just like want her to be my best friend. Like, can we be friends? Yeah, she's all of us that's just living in this world. Yeah, right? like I love how like uh, self aware she is and mm -hmm. self aware of like everything that's going on too and like, like she comments on it yeah like i love it so much but um i thought it was a solid episode i thought the introduction of both uh psycho and uh um, uh yeah but psycho with the whole like saying the bad word was the hilarious yeah i just yeah. thought that was fucking hilarious yeah. um and then yeah clayface with being able to change sort of like mystique type of vibe as far as being able to change like into anybody yeah. i think it's super cool and definitely a benefit beneficial skill set to have on any squad mm -hmm. so it'll be fun to see where this goes from here but i thought it was another yeah. solid episode i loved it yeah man i really appreciate how we how the show is not scared to show the superheroes superman batman wonder one probably gonna see the flash at some point green Lantern. you know all the main ones that you know you never they never want to show on any other show if it ain't capitalizing on that but i'm glad this is going there and you can see them sometimes in there which is great so it just makes um, it even better and on that point too i think it's fun because you're seeing them from the perspectives of the villain so yeah. they try to make it look like they were like murderous killers yeah. <laughs> so i thought that was exactly. fantastic 
Um, which is a spin also that you don't we don't ever get no. to see because they're always idolized and they're always yep. so like getting that like perspective shift. Mm -hmm. Even though it wasn't accurate, she was totally Making exaggerating, it up, yeah. but it was just fun to see that. Yeah. Um, so yes, solid episode. Yeah, good deal. All right, well look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for Harley Quinn season one episode three. Until next time, people. Peace.